How are you doing? You finally notched a win here in the Octagon on your debut. How did it feel in there? Uh, I felt good. Um, I wasn't exactly too happy with my performance for the most part, you know, especially being that I had his back and that's really my specialty right there. Um, I get a lot of red naked chokes from my amateur fights, my pro fights. I just, it's kind of weird, man. I, I felt great in that back room when I walked out. My throat felt like I was coughing up fireballs. I felt like Dal Zim in a uh, street fighter just, it was, my throat was burning. So um, it was weird after that first round, it felt great. And then the second round, I felt like my arms, felt like I was swinging cinder blocks on my arms. And I uh, kind of gave a position, gave up that second, then gave my back in the second. And I kind of just said, looked up at the clock and I was like, all right, I got 50 seconds left. I know I'm not going to get submitted, but I, I'm just going to stick it out and come out fresh in that third round. Hopefully I can pull out that win knowing that it was one-on-one -one piece going into that third. Well, you come out of a great camp, that's Sarah Longo camp. How, uh, how much did it help you to have a guy like Matt Sarah in your corner and really finding the aspects where you needed to improve in the fight between rounds? Uh, it, it helps out a lot because I know those guys have been there before. And uh, when they tell you to do something, man, you just do it. You don't, you don't ask no questions. You're just like a soldier in the Army. You just, just go out. Whatever they say do, they know it's there. They see it from the outside. They see it time and time again with all these other great fighters that we have coming out of the camp. And, uh, you know, you just trust the team, trust in my coaches, and do what they tell me to do. They told me, this is your third round. This is huge. You need this round. You want to win your first UFC fight? You got to take this round. You have to take this round. Go out there and take it from this kid. And I went out there, and I, I, it was a gut check, big gut check, and I'm just glad I managed to uh, get that W tonight. And Cody took this fight just on two weeks' notice. Uh, was, did it mess with you at all, having all the changes of opponent and everything? Uh, no, I, I felt like it, kinda, it was kind of even ground. I got the... The fight on three and a half weeks notice, so it wasn't about it was about pretty even as it could get for both of us being as a short notice fight for both guys. But um, I just knew the guy had great cardio, especially in his last fights. I seen him and the guy could push the pace, and I, I kind of expected that. So that was the main thing I focused on for this camp, being that it was so short. I was like, cardio has to be key, especially being that he's from this time zone, this this area. I know he's used to this altitude, this climate, and everything. And I think um, that definitely played a big factor for him and it helped him out a lot. But like I said, I'm just glad I, I had that big gut check in that third round and pulled out that win. Did you hear from Matt? Did he call you already? Or did you hear from Matt Sarah? Did he put a call in to you after the fight or already? Or? Uh, no, he just, uh, we just had a little breakdown. He told me to just enjoy the W and um, we'll discuss everything afterwards when we get back. Right now, I just kind of just have fun living the moment. I'm just glad, you know, I got my first W and uh, wearing my UFC gloves. So I'm happy about that. Really excited. They've been telling you, you know, in, in the weeks leading up to when you got the call, that, hey, man, you ready? This this could be coming pretty soon? Uh, no, actually, no. I had a fight coming up in March, March 22nd, for Cage Fury. I was going to defend my belt again, and I was kind of just getting into camp. Good thing my fight was originally scheduled for February 22nd, so I was kind of already started, and my cardio was at a good pace. It wasn't the best that it could have been, obviously, for tonight, but I think, um, I, think I managed to... To really show my heart and uh, my determination to win. Why do you think you came out lethargic? Was it you know the octagon jitters with your opponent, or I, I, honestly, I, I did some rehearsals this morning. I got up at 5:30, and I was in here. Nobody was in here but the security guards. And I was walking through the cage, walking uh, down the, the walkway, and I was just visualizing everything. And I was just like, man, I feel like I've been here before. I, I really don't feel like that played a factor. I just I I don't I don't know. I can't explain it. I warm up hard just like I always do, about an hour and. I just felt like I was coughing up fireballs. It was the weirdest. I've never felt like that ever in my life. I, I think it might be something to do with the uh, the altitude and everything. So I think that, that played a big factor. I've literally felt like I had paste in my mouth. That's what it felt like. So you can imagine what that feels like going three hard rounds like that with a guy like that. It's, it's not very comfortable. Was this the toughest fight of your career? Today, I, I would say so. I would think that's my toughest fight in the biggest stage. Both of us had a lot coming in to prove. You know, he was on a six fight win streak. I'm on an eight. And um, nobody knows who we are. And we know, obviously, two young guys want to make a name for themselves and show people that we're here to stay and where we mean business. And I think uh, we definitely put a lot of the uh, other banner weights on, on notice tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.